Hello everyone and welcome to E-Rides channel. My name is Oleg. I'm gonna be your host today. We're gonna talk today about the two different electric bicycles. One is a Motor Goat and this one is a Ghost Cat F3 model. Some people call F3 Pro, F3 Pro 1500 watt. So it's the same bike. Uh, so we're gonna kind of compare, but they are in different category. But the reason I'm making this kind of video because I have a lot of people ask me the difference because they want to make decision which one to pick. Both of them epic bicycle, both of them powerful, but they are completely different bicycle. Not only look, but also as performance wise. And I'm going to go through all this performance, all the specification of the bike. So by the end of this video, you know exactly which one you want most likely. But if you don't, you can welcome to comment below as well. And uh, you can message me on uh, Facebook. I'll leave a link in the uh, description and ask me more questions if you still have any left after this video. So, Motor God, the one I have currently, it's a first batch. Basically, I did upgrade the controller. So, any bike you buy today, you're going to get fast, as I will talk about. Also, you will not get the back. The back is extra. Uh, you're going to get front fender on this bike. And also, you're going to get... Uh, a little bit different fork, not only is the color different, but there will be no preload adjustment. And I believe there is no locking, maybe there is locking, I don't know. But this is a new uh, new kind of generation, I would say V3 model, uh, which came new batch, I guess. So I did upgrade controller, so this bike can go on average about 44, 45 miles an hour. Pretty simple and easy. Um, there is a lot of difference, not only the look, uh, the motor goat comes, uh, they do have three different bicycle in the same category with the pedals and without pedals. So if you want a PEX, which I like to ride with no pedals at all, it's like motorcycle, it feels real good. It's very smooth, much more quieter because there is no chain. But again, not everybody wants to have no pedals. So that's why they have pedals and without pedals. You can buy both. You can buy pedals or with packs. So they have different choices. Uh, the price currently, I believe it's for, uh, $2,599 for Motor Goat, Billy Goat, and the Power Goat, it's, uh, I believe it's uh, $2,499. Plus you get extra discount right now, 5% in description with my code that. And they do come in uh, options to buy extra battery. So you can have a, um, currently it's 25 amp, 60 volt system, which comes actually more than 60 volt. It's actually 17 cells, so it's basically 63 volt system. So it's a little bit more power than 60 volt. So you got larger battery and you have options to upgrade to another 20 amp or full frame, which is 50 or 60 amp. So you're gonna get about between on average, you're gonna get about 75 or 70 amp battery package if you want to buy extra, they do sell them right now. I talked to uh, owner of this company a few days ago, and they told me they do have in stock motor goat and power goat in black color, like um, mm, uh, gun metal, and they do have a billy goat with no pedals. So if you want to buy now, or there's some waiting time, I don't know how long, maybe a week or two, because they come regularly now. About the Ghost Cat, Ghost Cat comes uh, different colors, and this one is actually extra fifty dollars. It's a kind of a skin which protects the battery and also give you different look, and it's just improvement like for look and some protection for the battery. So it's only fifty dollars, and it comes in different design. You may want to check um, decal. Also, they do have options to upgrade the seat. Uh, from uh, the, um, some of the brand uh, with a seat would be a little bit longer, much more softer and more comfortable to ride. I never experienced with that seat, so I cannot tell you how comfortable, but it looks much better if you extra, I believe it's like 300 or 350 dollars for extra, you're gonna get nice seat. So the difference between these two bikes, I'm gonna talk first as specifications, just the numbers. The motor on the Ghost Cat, it's a 1500 
motor, which is Gears motor, and its brand is a uh, Xofo, uh, with peak power up to 2000. Motor goat, billy goat, or power goat that comes at 2000, direct drive. This big difference between direct drive and Gears motor, which I will talk to you as well. All, not only the sounds, but also different kind of uh, performance usually. And it's 2000 continuous power on all of the bicycles with 3000 peak power. I believe it's a little bit over 3000 because once you start to ride, the voltage on the display just hit up to 3000 um, and probably can go more. So I believe it's like about 3400 most likely peak power and the um, torque. Everybody know already probably if you check the ghost cat, it's 40, uh, 140 new meter torque, which is very powerful. And motor goat, it's, uh, was updated because before it was listed like 110, but it was actually tested on the low speed, first speed. So it was the lowest probably. And now they upgraded to 170 new meter torque. So it has a more torque. And I'll explain you why I tested the bike and I can feel the torque is different, speed the difference. That's why this bike is more power, of course. And uh, the difference between the gears motor, gears motor usually have more torque versus with a uh, direct drive, they don't have, they have less. Uh, nevertheless, motor goat have enough torque, not only to climb the hill, but also accelerate faster. So the direct drive usually for the speed and gears motor mostly for the torque. So about the speed, uh, I reach with my weight on 215 pounds. I reach on the ghost cat. 35 miles an hour on the flat road, pretty quick actually. Acceleration, I think they're about the same acceleration. The motor goat might be a little bit quicker now. And um, uh, the top speed on motor goat, I got about 45 miles per hour, okay? It's uh, easy to keep up, uh, keep up with the traffic on 40 miles an hour easily on motor goat while the ghost cat you can keep up with traffic about 33 35 pretty much easy you cannot really go with my weight above 35 no matter how I much tried it 35 was a limit on the flat and it does have very quick acceleration I test both bicycle in uphill recently so the ghost cat performed excellent in uphill in this category it made uphill many times without overheating uh, 30 miles an hour, which is uh, very fast, 30 miles an hour for this category bike, 52 volt. So this bike actually 52 volt, I didn't mention. So motor goat or any motor or like billy goat or power goat, actually 60 volt, but actually they are 63 now. So it's a different voltage, that's why they are totally different. And that's why the motor goat or any goat bicycle more powerful bike. It's like more motorcycle kind of bike would be. But I got 30 miles an hour on uphill without any problem at all, no air code. It's I did like maybe six or seven times in uphill nonstop. It was keep going at the same speed, no matter what. While the motor goat in the last testing made 18 miles an hour in uphill and I did also test a few times riding to uphill get no coat on the hill so it just keep going 80 miles an hour at the top of the hill so basically you get 10 miles different in the speed on the street on the flat road and you get about uh, 5 miles in uphill speed so that's why it's about over 25 percent or 30 percent difference I guess in the speed, I would say. So it is more powerful bike, but not everyone wants motor goat versus to ghost cat. And I will talk to you about this later in this video as well. So the difference, I'll get phone closer so you can see the difference. Then I'm gonna sit on the bikes so you can also see the difference, how the rear shock works, how the front shock works. So you can see the difference as well. So let me get closer so you can see the difference first of the spec on the handlebar and then we're gonna go from the distance so i'll start with a um, motor goat all of them actually doesn't matter you buy motor goat billy goat or power goat i will talk the same way because 
they come exactly like the same equipped. So they come with uh, two side mirrors. I just installed one because I actually broke one because I dropped the bike before. They come with a seven gear shifter on the right, full throttle and key ignition right here. They do come with a, a low beam and high beam options, turn signals and horn. So, and this control buttons. Also you come with emergency light over here, hazard light to turn it on. I'll show you how you turn it on the bike first. And you're gonna see actually at uh, night, you're gonna see on the floor as well, uh, projection light, which is very cool. Then you turn it on. And then you're gonna see motor gold. Okay, so this is a display. It uh, can be adjusted from zero to three or like three speed, five speed uh, pedal assist or nine speed pedal assist. You got voltage, battery and percentage. You got also pedal assist over here, odometer reading, trip reading and average speed. And then you, when you click on it, nothing will happen actually. Uh, to, ch to change the speed, you just push plus or minus or basically the same as any bicycle. So over here it's turn signals and you can see it's working. Pretty cool. This one is hazard light. When you push on it, both of them will blink. And also the tail light will blink. And it does come with tail light as well. And it comes with a lock. This is a wheel lock, so insert between the wheels. And uh, it does come with a mug wheels. So it's very strong, like motorcycle wheels, I would say. So they're stronger wheels. Uh, my version comes with 4.5 inches wide rear and front the same the new ones you're gonna get only four inches on the front same tires but four and a half on the back so it's a little bit different because they made uh, smaller now because uh, it's very close to the fork so there's very small space so they decide to go with a smaller and of course you got full fenders now mine is like half fenders on the front like most sports style and over here and the back extra about hundred dollars and it comes in two type of bags one soft one shell this one is soft with a lot of it's a, and there is hard shell it comes with a fast take um, uh, adjustable uh, rear shock five uh, right mine is 550 pounds but new one will come with 450 now it's a air shock adjustable over here and over here so um, different adjustment it comes with a nice seat. It's not the softest. It's about, on my rating, I would say it's about eight. Okay, it's not the top softest seat. And uh, and that's a motor goat. And the battery is 60 by 25 amp, which is 1500 watt hours. So you can check over here to see the battery. So this is a motor goat. And uh, now we're gonna go to the Ghost Cat. So Ghost Cat comes with a um, seat. It's, uh, it's about the same, I would say. It's a little bit longer seat. And the Motor Goat, and they do comes with a dual seater. So basically they come with a Power Goat. If you need a longer seat, they have super long from top here. So super long seat, but it would be Power Goat. So you might want to check on the description as well, but I only have motor goat right now. Uh, they do actually come with the packs, both of the bicycles, same with a ghost cat right over here, the packs, which I don't know why you need the packs if you cannot really ride two people, it's not really long enough. And it's, I mean, I rode with my son and daughter, but for adults, I didn't try with adults yet. Maybe you can, but again, I would not ride it. So this is a colorful display, very bright, nice looking display. Here's a, a options to start. You need to push power button. It's just to know if you don't use this. Then you're gonna see Ghost Cat. And you're gonna get peak power on the left side, voltage and battery. So you know how many volt. Right now I have 56.8 volt. And this is a trip. And if you push, nothing will happen. So basically it comes with a Let's see. Oh, okay. Adamant reading and maximum speed, average speed, time, and trip reading. So, and this pedal assist. So, when you push plus, you'll change. And you do, 
you can change to up to nine, I believe, in a setting as well. You can adjust it, everything. So it comes with a full throttle as well. A horn right here, a headlight right over here. You just push and hold it, and it will turn on. Pretty bright headlight. Both of the bicycles have a nice headlight, tail light. Uh, over here also horn. It's a little bit more funny horn. And that's a ghost cat. There's no turn signals. There's uh, basically, let me turn like this so you can see. So this uh, headlight, and this one is daylight. So to turn on uh, headlight, you need to push over here. The, okay, so here's a different beam so like this. And when you switch it, it'll go a different way. So you have low beam and high beam. So these two bicycles, um, headlight. And so the motor goat or any or any goat bike comes with options to ride on the street better equipped with the turn signals and um, speed wise also, but they're different and both of them great in their own way. So ghost cat comes with DNM burner, uh, the same mostly comes on uh, Soran type of bikes. It's a uh, 550 pounds shock also adjustable over here and rebounds over here same as a uh, motor goat but this one just uh compression there's no air i believe it's not air shock but this is very feels really good actually uh, i believe this one has about the same travel but you'll feel differently versus to any goat bike so your feeling will be different even this one 550 versus to new arrival have 450 pounds they are a little bit different and maybe not even a little maybe a lot different and for reason they are different feeling because the, the way this swing arm design as you can see swing arm over here like Soron type of style seven shifter seven speed uh, Altus derailleur and Motor goat come with a, I believe, like tourney derailleur, just basic one as well. So seven speed, but usually people don't use them all. So, okay, so this is the different, you can see the swing arm, a little bit different, more solid on the motor goat. And I will explain that's a major difference. When you sit on them, you're gonna feel differently. And I'll show you one by one to show you how they bounce, I guess. Uh, because a lot of people love how the ghost cat smooth ride uh, off-road and motor goat excellent rider in the city so that's why I'm gonna show you now the difference now I'm gonna show you the difference between these two bikes M pretty much most important for people to choose one so a lot of people looking to buy uh, for bike is uh, to ride on the street or both off-road so with a ghost cat, it's more like off-road, I would say, because, and more softer, right? I would say like, as you can see, when I sit on the bike, it's basically bouncing, okay? It's pretty much bouncing, soft, and also the shock. It's about 110 travel millimeters, soft, nice fork, and they do come in new models right now so if you want even completely off-road bike more like for stun and a little bit small jumps they do come with a x model so it will be f3x it will be more expensive this model costs 2099 dollars uh yeah 2099 dollars plus you get discount in description and uh, with my code e rights and uh they do comes in uh x model which will be 2499 dollars so you're gonna get a different fork which is uh, through axle through fork so it will be also different wheel type so you will have 120 millimeter travel uh, more adjustment on that fork also you're gonna have different headlight looking uh, different fenders so but everything else should be about the same i believe and uh, the seat on this bike, currently on the original one, 32 inches on the lowest part, the 
top part about 33 and a half, 34, I would say. Okay, 33 and a half, I would say. But when you see it on it, it will basically going more down. The pedaling is not as great would be for a taller person because you can see it very close to the sitting position. So for me to pedal, I can pedal it. I did pedal last time when I was riding at night. I took it for a test and see. It was okay pedaling. It's not the best position because when I start to pedal, you like my feet will go like, like this. And I'm 5'11". So I'm not as tall as some people are, but I'm not as short. But again, it's a... Uh, I would advise somebody who's shorter, probably better options as well, but it's a lot of fun bike as well. So it's uh, also lighter. The Ghost Cat weighed about 83 pounds with the battery, while the Motor God weighed about 106 pounds with the battery. And if you buy more battery, it will be more heavy. So you get over 20 pounds weight, which very feelable when you start to lift it or bring anywhere. Also, uh, the size-wise, Ghost Cat also small, as you can see, easy to put in a van or a sub and any rack. So it's pretty kind of compact, I would say. And that's a difference. So you get speed difference, about five miles on hills, 10 miles on the road. You don't get any uh, like uh, turn signal slide, no hazard light, you don't get mirror, which is not really a big deal, but you do get soft tail, which works better off-road, much smoother ride for off-road, and basically, if you want to go off-road riding, like have fun, just for 20 miles ride on electric only, that's a great bike. If you need more than 20 miles ride, then this battery might last like 25 miles, I would say, probably the maximum on electric only with my weight on. Probably 25, I would assume. I never tested for range. So that would be Ghost Cat, okay? So I think I went over all this. If I miss anything, comment below, of course. So now I'm going to show you the Motor Goat. And now we're going to talk about the motor goat. I'm going to sit on the bike and show you the difference. So the most position about 34 inches, 30 and a half on top. It's much softer place over here versus over here. As you can see, when I push on the, it does not really flex. And it's 550 pounds, exactly the same. And I was thinking maybe I need to swipe, like uh, swap the shock to see if it will help because I think it's based not only the shock, but itself only the swing arm makes a difference as well. But currently they come with 450, so 100 pounds less than this one. And you can also upgrade by buying extra for hundred dollars, I believe, 350 pounds, so it will be much softer. I'm not sure if the 350 will make it more bouncy, but I heard it does make a little bit softer, right? But I'll see it because I'm heavy, I'm 215 pounds, and I'll show you the difference when I jump on this bike. See? It's more like Matza, it's not really flexing, and here's the shock. It is adjustable, but I never really adjust it, because I just leave it as is. It works pretty good, it's about 100, 110 uh, millimeter travel, I believe on this, and also, the one I have, it's a full adjustable preload adjustment and also compression adjustment on this bike. The new one comes only, I believe, with compression adjustment. That's about it. But most people never adjust or sometimes it does not really work as much. So the difference, as you can see, the rear shock, it does work, but it's not as bouncy. It's not really make it very bad riding off-road because I, I test them both but it makes more softer smoother ride to go over all the bumps on the ghost cat on the street uh, i think the go uh, motor goat or any goat bike will perform better way 
Uh, and I explain you why what I noticed from my experience as well because the ties are also different. If you're gonna get Ghost Cat F3X, you're also gonna get tires very similar to this one, kind of street tires and off-road tires. So these tires can be ridden everywhere, I guess. So you may have different braking. I noticed when I ride on Ghost Cat, even at 35 miles an hour, it's very hard to stop right away. Basically, it will lock in the rear wheel and the front wheel. I don't want to push too hard because if I push too hard, it will lock the front wheel and then I may fall. So I usually use both and I notice it will not grab the, the road as well. And I believe for one of the reasons because the rear shock is a little bit too soft. So it will just bounce back and that would create kind of less braking from rear wheel on the ghost cat. That's what I assume that's how it works most likely. That's why to have the softer shock, it's not always going to be better for braking in my experience. This, or maybe also the tires. But I notice if you put the tires in low PSI, it will give you better braking of course, but then you're going to have a little bit less speed with uh, probably 10 on the front, 15 on the back. You're going to get better uh, traction. And that's also my change on the new X model because X model comes with different tires. So those tires may be better grabbing the road, so maybe better braking as well. As uh, talking about the brakes, since we started to talk about the brakes and I almost missed it, uh, both of them two, uh, 203 millimeter disc brakes. Uh, both of them stop locking very well, like basically they stop uh, the wheels. And uh, the only difference, I know, well, there's basically no much difference because both of them are making some noises. So the brakes, I would say about the even on both of the bicycles. Both of them great brakes, but they're noisy a little bit and two, uh, 203 millimeters, so about the same. I would not really complain or say one better than other. So the brakes about the same, I would say. And if you ride on the street, like high speed, 35 miles an hour, the motor goes would stop much quicker, I noticed, because of the rear shock is much harder, so you get more pressure on the rear tires, and it will not bouncing back, so it will basically gra uh, like grab the road better before it will lock in completely. With a ghost cat, looks like it will lock it in, so you need to do braking like SBC, like um, ABS type of, when you brake like randomly, like quickly, so maybe it will help, so I don't know, I didn't try it much, I usually break with both of them. So that would be different between Ghost Cat and Motor Goat, or Power Goat, or Billy Goat. The difference between all the Goat bicycles are only the design, the seat, and Power Goat would come with 20 amp battery, versus to Billy Goat now, and Motor Goat comes with 25. With Ghost Cat, I forgot to mention, it's 52 volt system and it's a 20 amp battery. So it's only like 1000, uh, 1000 watt hours, or a bit more than 1000 watt hours, I believe. So I would be 1040. I need to do the math. So it's a bit smaller. It's about the same size as uh, on, uh, actually even smaller than on the power goat so the battery of course smaller than any of the motor goat bicycles and options to attach extra battery is very important sometimes so that's a big difference so if you need longer range bicycles then motor goat would be one of the best one to choose from if you want for like fun bike to ride 20 miles as I said before and you want more affordable which are very close to two thousand dollars then ghost cat if you are new to the bike at all, never rode any electric bicycle, I would recommend to go with Ghost Cat as a fun bike to start. Or you can go with Motor Goat. Both of the bicycles can be speed adjusted. So Motor Goat or Ghost Cat, you can go to the system, reduce your speed and make a lot of adjustment based on your needs. And also you can change how much torque you want, like uh, how much torque you want the bike or softer, smoother ride. You can do that on a motor goat and you can also reduce the speed on ghost cat. So let's say you have a 
teenager, you want to buy the bicycle, the ghost cat probably would be better because also you can protect with a password. So they cannot go in and change by themselves. So you can protect this with a password. So you can adjust the speed to 20 miles an hour and they cannot go faster. That's a very good option for people who want to buy the bike for teenagers. With motor goat, I believe you cannot do that. It, uh, there's no really password to protect, to change the speed. So once you have access to the speed, they can easily to change it. Another thing is difference between these two bikes. Uh, the goat bicycles comes with a app and Bluetooth, so you connect to the app and you can make some changes with the app if you want to. But in my experience, I never really use the app, so it's basically useless, I would say. But again, if you need the app, you can do some options over there. And it does come with a Bluetooth and a lot of street like uh, riding needs, like turning signals, that's what I said before. But again, they are looking different. It's more like a motorcycle, I would say, and a ghost cat would be more like Suron, like a dirt bike, mini dirt bike. So that's a little bit different because you can see uh, this bike, it's pretty solid as well. Uh, the rear shock is not as bouncy, but it does give you good support when you're riding. It's not bouncy, but it's smooth ride. You will not really have problem to ride off-road, but you would need to reduce some air pressure. And again, that's something for you to decide which bike is right for you. Because I did this compare and explanation video because you can spend times and learn one another. And I will have a link in description for both of the bicycle with unboxing and speed test. So you can check for yourself if you decide to buy Ghost Cat or um, Goat Bike. You're welcome to check the link in the description and pick one. But this video might help you to kind of understand which bike would be better for you. Because for keep up in traffic, if you're planning to ride in high speed, like 40 miles, 35 miles an hour on the street, the gold bicycles will be one of the best you can get. If you're planning to ride on the street in bike lane, also off-road, or to ride or even fire lanes or just go for quick ride joy ride uh, then the ghost cat would be great also it's more budget it's about over like 400 dollars cheaper just um, compared to this bike you do get a little bit less of course but it's nice powerful very reliable bike i would say so you cannot really get anything better like in the category if you're looking uh, between the Ghost Cat, I would compare most likely the close competitor Ghost Cat would be um, Ride One Up Rev One DRT model. So, but I think Ghost Cat much more powerful. So, Motor Goat, it's a little bit higher level, higher speed, more power, and this bike is not for everyone. Uh, so, again. It's safer to ride actually a motor goat due to the more safety uh, options on this bike. Also, it feels to me that it's more stable on the road on the higher speed would be. Uh, I never reached 45 miles on the ghost cat, but I reached 44, 45 miles on the motor goat. And I can say that I feel like riding on motor goat versus ghost cat. I feel like riding 35 miles, like about 45 to 35, about equal feeling would be to me. So that's a little bit difference. So that's something you need to decide. It's uh, your choice, which one is best for you. And I know some people like say, oh, hey, why you compare them different, like different bicycle. But I just want to bring you this information because something you need to know before you pick one versus another. So later on, you will not regret. Some people will want to have softer, like uh, seat, like spring and stuff. Uh, they, some people want to upgrade the seat. Ghost Cat already have all this for you. So you can buy a nice seat. You can get the Ghost Cat with a smoother shock, everything. You don't have to break your head to think how to do that. 
And if you want like a nice fork, they do have it as well for off-road running, for some stunt jumping a little bit. So it's not going to be like professional fork, but it's still nice fork. Better going to be than on the motor goat, uh, because this one is not for jumping for sure. It's just for street riding. And I know I talked a lot about the bicycle, but I didn't ride any of them tonight. So it's already getting dark and... Uh, if you want to see a video where I ride them, please check link in the description. I do have a video of uh, taking the ghost cat off-road. I have a video of taking motor goat off-road. And I have a video when I test uphill. And again, those videos are just shortened. Um, I rode a lot on the uphill with a ghost cat. Amazing bike to go uphill. A lot of torque. You're going to be surprised. Uh, motor goat have a little bit more torque. You can ride any hill or motor goat most likely without pedals at all. And I would say the same thing you can do on ghost cat. You don't really need to pedal any of the bike to go uphill. And the pedals, uh, the one you see right now on both of the bikes are not included in the bike when you buy them. They're from uh, uh, Arclight Smart Pedal Redshift, I think. So it's a great brand. They make a lot of like uh, stuff for bicycles. It's a removable, like a uh, LED light. They change different color, but they're smart. When you use them, they will turn on. And also red will be always on the back, on the rear, and front will be always white. Doesn't matter how much you turn, it will always change it. But you can change pattern, how it will blink. And you can recharge them all at once. So if you're interested in this red shift, I should have a link in the description also with good discount. It might be something you need to ride at night or even daytime. They will provide you a lot of bright light. And thank you guys for watching this video, joining my channel, subscribing. Okay. So don't forget hit subscribe button below, like it and comment. Let me know what do you think, what do you think, which one? you think better fit to you which one you like the best i know they look different some people like gold bicycle some people like ghost cat some people have both and if you have both comment below what do you think which one you prefer to write more often thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye